Do you find a bunch okay. of amethyst up there while you're doing not, it too? But no, not where I'm at, but we do oh. find the mariposite. One of the things that's really cool here, I can show you this piece here. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but where I'm at now, I have five different ore shoots. So as I was saying earlier, the the gold bearing veins run east and west in between the mother load vein and the dike. There's a, an andesite dike. And I've got five different ore shoots and I've been able to identify five distinctly different types of gold coming out of each vein. And this is the third one on the structure. Oh, wow. You can see kind of the little, they look like sharp cuts in the quartz. Yeah. yeah. That's where the quartz was contacting calcite. So it was a calcite and quartz the vein. calcites wore out. Oh. Yeah, and then the calcites naturally eroded. So we have yep. what are called the, the, the calcite casts. And you can see that the gold actually took on the shape of the calcite as well. Hmm. We got these massive agates here Here's in Montana another one that are encased inside of calcite. And the calcite wears out and leaves these really cool patterns in the agates. It's pretty neat. Wow. Yeah, you can see this one a little better because I haven't cleaned the court, so you can see where the calcite yeah. blades were. Oh, yeah. And then the gold as well. It has the calcite Jeez. shape So on the it. calcite's pretty sharp there. Wow. Yeah. Okay. 